everyone. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. So are you ready for another session of learning English with me? Well, today I'm going to tell you something that you have never ever heard before in English. I'm sure about it because this is very specific topic and it's going to cover a lot of problem areas. Believe me. And if you're someone who's on a beginner's level, who's facing a lot of problems in English speaking, general problems, then you should watch this video till the end because uh, I'm going to tell you something that's going to cover almost all all the problems the basic level problem that all english speakers and learners they face now if you are thinking that you are trying to learn english but still you're not able to speak it outside or you're thinking how to start your english speaking journey you understand english that's clear because you are watching this video but then this is the issue that you can understand english you can't speak english that However you are trying, however much you are trying, still you feel nervous or still you don't know like where to begin, how to begin your English speaking journey. So what is that factor that can actually help you in order to start your English speaking journey, okay, and help you learn and improve your English a lot faster. So it's survival English. Now what is survival English? So survival English is a term that is very popular in ESL word like English as a second language. Survival English. What is survival English? So survival English is basically something that you need in order to survive in any English speaking country. That's survival English. Are you ready to learn everything about the survival English and how you can use it to become a fluent English speaker? and start speaking English from day one of your learning journey. I'm Shivangi Gupta, your English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge, and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe the channel because you get one English lesson on this channel every day. Like the video and share it with your friends. Okay, now let's talk about survival English, something that is not taught in schools generally but something that is very important to begin this journey of becoming fluent in English. Now imagine before understanding it in details I want you to understand the context so that you are able to understand what you have to focus on what you have to learn. Imagine you are in an English speaking country any English speaking country it can be either UK, you can be in England, Scotland, maybe Ireland, okay, you can be at London, you can be at New York, right, any place, either if you're at a place in London or at a place in New York, you will be required to speak in English, okay, now at this place, what is the basic English that is needed for you to survive? for you to do basic functions, for you to do basic activities in a day. What is the basic English that is needed for you to survive in order to live in that particular country? So imagine that you're spending a day in an English speaking country. What is going to be the basic English? That is what you need to focus on if you're not able to find a particular target and you're not able to decide where to start learning, how to start speaking, how should I start my English learning journey, English speaking journey. This is a great way to do that. And even if you're in the middle of this, covering your survival English is very important for your conversation and daily English speaking. English speaking for everyday situations. Because survival English focuses on the English that is needed for you to use in everyday situations. Now, survival English will help you in what? Ordering food, definitely. Because if you want to survive at a place, you need food. You need a place to live. You might require to travel. And if you're finding a job, that is the thing. If you're looking for work, what kind of English would you require to look for the work? So the basic English, because you should be able to place an order at a restaurant or maybe go to a grocery store and shop some items from there, get a place to rent or maybe book a room in a hotel in order to live there, survive there for a day. This is the basic English we are talking about, okay? So basic 
English is basically the survival English. Now, what are the topics and what are the things that you need to cover when you're focusing on survival English? So in survival English, we consider certain situations that are necessary and you should learn English related to those situations. For example, I already listed a lot of situations, but I'm going to list them again once for you pay attention now. For example, talking to somebody in English, greeting somebody, that you're greeting somebody so that you are able to start a conversation, greeting somebody, boarding a bus or a train or any public transport, placing an order at a cafe or a restaurant, booking a hotel room or renting a room somewhere, to be able to book a taxi, to be able to buy groceries, vocabulary or English that is required to buy groceries or English that is required to at least make some friends, right? So this is the small, uh, you can say, filtration of topics that I've done for you. Now what you need to do, how you need to start. So start with basic vocabulary. That's very important. Start with basic vocabulary and then move on to basic phrases. So basic vocabulary, what is basic vocabulary? Basic vocabulary like names of food items, names of fruits, vegetables. For example, re you require something, okay, but you're not able to find it. How would you ask somebody? Simple. So you need to focus on your basic vocabulary. That's survival English. Your names of all the food items, basically names of places, of things, of clothing items, that's your basic vocabulary. Now coming to the basic phrases. So basic phrases, it's like I already give you some intermediate phrases, but they are phrases for a bit advanced level. Basic phrases are your phrases like your greetings, for example, hi, hello, how are you? To be able to reply those and answers, oh yeah, I'm doing really well. Because what happens is, even replying in small sentences or small words is difficult sometimes because we are not habitual of doing it. But if you are in any English speaking country, you have to reply in English in order to survive there. That's why it's termed as survival English. So this is somewhere between beginner and intermediate. So this is somewhere if you're between beginner level and intermediate level, it's for you. And it's going to help you a lot because this is the time, this is the situation where a lot of people get stuck in their journey to become fluent in English. Because they know a lot of things, but then how to use it, how to speak it, it's like they don't know. So think that you're using survival English right now. You are in survival English mode. Even if you're living in your native country, okay, still you should consider that you're going to use survival English for next 10 days, maybe 20 days. And then you'll see that after using the survival English, speaking English is becoming habitual for you. It's much more easier now. And then you'll be able to focus on more advanced ways of speaking English. For example, speaking long sentences, trying to hold the conversation. And whatever I tell in my other advanced lessons, you'll be able to apply that too. So this is a very important step, survival English that you need to take. Take this step and see the difference it's gonna bring to your vocab and your English speaking skills if you really have no idea where to start and if you're facing a lot of problems right now. It's going to reduce your problems a lot, believe me. So that's it for today. If you want me to make a lesson related to the vocabulary and phrases, particularly related to survival English, do let me know and I'll make a video for you on that. I just have a small request that I know you people are supporting me a lot and I really appreciate all the support but please share my videos as much as possible so that my content can reach more and more audience it can reach more people and everyone can get benefit from the videos I just want that good English content uh, to be accessible to everyone that's it so please support me and share my videos as much as possible. Please start to share them more and more. It's gonna help me a lot and I'll appreciate it even more. Thank you so much. Now one more thing that if you have any particular topic that you want me to make a video on, 
or you have any kind of query regarding any topic do let me know and i'll make a video for you now i'm gonna see you tomorrow till then take care and bye